Epstein's anomaly is also a very rare condition. This is when the tricuspid valve between the right atrium and the right ventricle doesn't work properly. And this is because the valve sits lower than normal in the ventricle here, and the leaflets are abnormally formed. This means that blood can leak back through the valve and the heart is less efficient. Um, this defect can, may lead to enlargement of the heart or even heart failure. Some of the symptoms are shortness of breath, fatigue, heart palpitations, abnormal heart rhythms, or blue discoloration of the lips and skin because of low oxygen, also called cyanosis. Related conditions are holes in the heart, which include atrial septal defects or, patent, or the patent form in a valley, abnormal heartbeats, which include rapid heartbeats called tachycardia and can cause fainting spells called cyanocope. Um, another related condition is the Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, which is when there's an abnormal electrical pathway in the heart and can lead to very fast heart rate and fainting spells. Some of the risk factors for this disease are genetics, so a family history, or if the mother is exposed to certain medications during pregnancy, for example, lithium. Some of the complications of this defect are that the patient would have to be careful being active later on in life. Pregnancy can be risky. Um, there's a risk for heart failure or heart rhythm problems or even sudden cardiac arrest or stroke. Diagnosis for this um, for this uh, defect include the use of the echocardium, electrocardium, uh, echocardiogram, electrocardiogram, a chest x-ray, cardiac MRI, a Holter monitor, which is just a portable electrocardiogram, pulse oximetry, an exercise stress test, electrical physiology study, or a cardiac catheterization. The treatment for this defect include monitoring, monitoring it to see if it will go, it will close or get better on its own. Um, medication to control the heart rate and rhythm and prevent blood clots as well as keeping the ductus arteriosus open. And surgery. Um, different methods of surgery include tricuspid valve repair, which reduces the size of the valve opening which allows the valves to come together. Or you could separate the leaflets from the heart muscle, rotate it, and reattach it to make a leaflet cone. Another type of surgery is a tricuspid valve replacement, which removes the deformed valve and inserts either a biological, bioprosthetic valve, or a mechanical valve. But the patient would need to take blood thinning meds for life if using the mechanical one to prevent blood clots. Another type of surgery is closing the atrial septal defect by patching the hole while repairing the valve. Um, the maze procedure is when the surgeon makes small incisions in the atria to create a pattern of a pattern or a maze of scar tissue. This interferes with the stra uh, stray electrical impulses and because it doesn't conduct electrical impulses it can control the heartbeat again. Um, this is done using extreme cold called cryotherapy and radio or radio frequency energy. Another type of surgery is radio frequency catheter ablation which uses catheters to get electrodes to the heart. And then radio frequency energy is used to damage or ablate small spots of the heart tissue to create um, electrical block along the pathway. And lastly, the patient could get a heart transplant if the defect is too complex.